Welcome, welcome, welcome. I almost had my, my emotions showed up, but I uh, had to kick my emotions down. Okay, but uh, I think we all realize that this program has been miraculous. Uh, when we first started off almost a year ago, a little over a year ago, uh, we really didn't have a place to go. And so we stepped out on faith saying we were going to do something, and we didn't even know how we were going to be able to do it. But once again, he does what he does. When we step out on faith, God does what he does, and he provides. And so we've grown from less than 10 to almost 40 people are here today, and that is truly a blessing. Uh, now, everything hasn't happened perfect in the last year because we did do a sponsorship aspect of this. You know, we were trying to get people to sponsor your meal, uh, and we weren't successful with that. But we can't give up. We continue to do that because once people know what we're doing and the fruits of you all fellowshipping, uh, I think they will participate uh, financially because if God blesses all of us, I'm talking about us younger folks, we'll get to be seniors too. And I hope there's somebody looking out for me when my day comes. Okay, so I'm looking out for you guys in hopes that, you know, this will continue. Uh, but a couple of highlights of the program I just wanted to, you know, just kind of announce. Uh, to me, uh, you all's work with the Mother's Day program was just above and beyond. I had no idea you could take the room next door and, and create what you created and do something to recognize uh, mothers and then to actually have Funky Larry Jones to be the MC and uh, the little part where he had his emotions to show, you know. Uh, but you know, mothers are truly the backbone to society. Without you all, I don't know what us men would do. Amen. Uh, so that was a remarkable event. And uh, Valentine's Day was great. Um, uh, you all just keep doing things. And, and even this room today, uh, you say you're going to have an event, and then all of a sudden you rearrange things and you do the tablecloths and the flowers. And it, it just seems to be unimaginable what you can do. And so I just wanted to applaud you for that. Yeah. <laughs> But not only that, as I look at some of the areas that you have grown into, um, the computer class, thanks to Celicia and all that, you know, the creativity that she's brought forward, uh, many of you all are taking the computer classes, and that's great, because we're actually in a time where you can't do anything on paper anymore. Pretty much everything we're doing is centered around the computer. And so if you haven't, please take that challenge, because you need to learn how to use a computer. Uh, secondly, uh, the cookbook. That was an idea that Celicia came up with to have seniors to come up with some of your best recipes, teach you how to make, you put your recipe on the computer and create a cookbook. And so now we have a cookbook and soon we're gonna have a food testing, uh, tasting where whatever you cook's gonna be on display, people are gonna actually uh, taste it and purchase the book. And so we've created the first edition. I think every year we should have an edition. And so get your recipes ready. And so I walk in today and another um, creativity uh, mechanism we're getting ready to go towards uh, presented itself. Uh, we're actually going to use the computers to learn how to play bridge. Now, I've heard about bridge when I was a teen, and, but I don't know how to play bridge. But, you know, we're some almost older dogs that can still learn some new tricks. And so I'm going to learn, and if you want to learn, you can learn as well. I'm going to tell a quick story about a young lady that many of us know. Uh, Sister Nash, um, I was teaching a Bible class, and uh, this young man wanted me to recollect some of the scriptures that I used. And uh, I said, sure, I can go back and tell you what they were. And then she said, here they are. And so I looked at them, they were so legible and neat, and so uh, we were actually able to give that to us. So I asked Sister Nash, would you be interested in taking minutes at some of our board meetings? And so we made Sister Nash a board member of South Union CDC just to do the minutes. 
Now, in order to teach you how to do the minutes, I had to take somebody that didn't even know how to use a computer, and we gave her a laptop. Now, normally, when you're teaching somebody, you teach them on a desktop. But we actually taught her on a laptop computer how to just take a Word document and just edit it, you know, put the minute, meeting minutes in it, and she was very successful at it. But the first step of learning how to use the laptop was actually learning how to play a game called solitaire. How many of y'all play solitaire on the computer? Rock. Okay. It is an Every easy day. way. It is an easy way to learn mouse control. And so she went from playing solitaire to doing the minutes and she got on uh, email and she emailed me three or four times in the morning at three, four o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. But I love but I love the fact that you can take someone, she was seventy three at the time. And you know, an almost getting older dog <laughs> learned the trick and she loved it. And so everything that we're doing, I think you're gonna love it once you move in that direction. And so uh, I'm gonna shut up and kind of let us kind of uh, have a, a little something to eat. But once again, uh, it really motivates me to see you all being motivated mm -hmm. and to see you coming and uh, just to see this program growing leaps and bounds. So Let me say something. Um, we all are sisters in here and brothers and all, and we do have a good time. We really, really have a good time. And people we haven't seen for a little while, then we're so glad to see them. So glad to see them. Give them a heart. Uh -huh. But I wanted to say something to you, Brother uh, Jernigan. It's so good that you didn't keep all this a secret. And it was so nice to hear about Sister Nash. So much can be accomplished by our people. If we didn't keep it all a secret, okay. Then we gonna say, "Bless you for keeping it, letting it all hang out." <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Almighty God, light of all things, light of all men, God, who by that good will does lead those who trust in you to lasting peace, going joy, and abundant life. We are into your presence this day with thanksgiving our hearts, asking Heavenly Father that you will continue to watch over us today. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing us to be able to come together to fellowship one with another. Help us, Heavenly Father, to, to continue to consider and to be kind one to another and try to help each other as best as we can. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for us again for this day and for this food that we are about to receive to nourish our bodies in the name of Christ who ask these blessings. Amen. Amen.
to be a God thing, but God put you all here, and we're right on the other side of the wall. We share this hall every single day, even with the children. So again, thank you. Again, my name is Shay, and you all enjoy. God bless.